Hi guys, it's Kara, and I wanted to share my Erin Condren Life Planner with you guys. I've actually had this for several months, I think since last September, and I haven't shared it any sooner because it's really taken me a while to figure out how I wanted to use this, and I kind of went through a variety of different things trying to figure that out, and it's only been the last couple of weeks that I think I have um, found out or determined how I'm going to use it, so I thought I would um, share with you what I came up with and also kind of what didn't work for me. The first thing I wanted to mention, as I'm sure you guys know, is that the covers on here are interchangeable and I do have a few extras, so I thought I would share those with you. This is the one that I started out with. This is the one that I got when I originally ordered the planner. I've also picked up a few extras, so I picked up this one, which is the I think it's the confetti one. I just love it. I think all the colors are great and I like that black background. And then I picked up this sequins one. I believe I customized the color on here with the pinks and I think it's very pretty. But the one I'm actually using right now is this one. And I don't remember what this one's called off the top of my head, but I think if you go on the site, if you're interested, you can find it. And of course, I just put my name. I'm not putting the years on here. It's just my name. So I do use the band. I just have it off for the purposes of the video. I use the silver one and I do keep a pen in that little red pen loop. It's one of my favorite friction pens. You guys know I love these. And I typically use the color um, or keep the color in this band that I'm going to be using during the month and week that I'm in. Okay, so let me get started and kind of show you what I'm doing with this planner. Uh, on the inside cover, I do have a couple little um, sticky notes. I don't put a lot on here because I honestly don't find the need for a lot of extra notes in this planner. There's a lot of space in here and I think I have more than enough room. And I just recently added this little glittery pink name which is my YouTube channel and Instagram name, AK Caribou. Um, and I did that because I finally figured out that I'm actually going to use this planner for my blog video and kind of crafty life and that was a big change for me. So let me kind of tell you a little bit about that. When I first got this planner, I kind of thought I had it all figured out. You know, it has a month layout, and then after the month it has all of the weeks. And each of the weeks is set up with a morning, day, and night section. And in the beginning, I really tried to make that work for me. I put my things in these different boxes and I didn't really do anything fancy to the planner. Um, each of the months has a different kind of color scheme and I kind of went with that. And so this was when I had first got it. And you can kind of see I did put a lot of stuff in here. And as you can see I don't put a lot of stickers in here typically. I'm not one to do a lot of decorating in my planner because I really just want my planner to be functional. Um, you'll see down the road I do a little bit, but not a ton. And that's just because I don't really want to spend the time in my planner decorating it. Um, I want it to be used. So nothing it's nothing wrong with putting a lot of stickers and decorations in there if that's what you like. Totally get it. It's just not my thing. So as time went on, and I'm using this, I realized that I really didn't like the month and day and night. So I started to change up the labels a little bit. And first I tried using some of the Studio L2E stamps and I did three different sections. I did work, to do, and important. And what I basically just did is I took some of those white labels, um, the bigger Avery L ones, and I colored them with my Copics and then I cut them into strips that would fit in the little boxes and then I just stamped the words that I wanted to use on here. And that worked for a while because in the beginning this was going to be kind of my everything planner. I was going to put work and family and crafty life all in this. And I did that for a while as you can see. I really wasn't using the monthly one too terribly often but I was using the weeks. And I did that for a while and then I changed up my headings again to see if I could try and figure out something different because I wasn't kind of clicking with the planner. And I decided to do blog and, and YT up here, notes and today down here. And so I did that. And as you can see, I did that for a while. And then I changed it a little bit more again and I, I kept the blog and YouTube up here, but then I put to do and notes. Still coloring those labels and just stamping it on here. 
There are a ton of Studio L2E stamps that have um, sentiments in there, so I'm sure you can find one to fit what you would like to do if you want to um, relabel these sections. And you can see I kept doing that for a while. Still trying to put a lot of things in here. And then in about January, I realized that I really just wanted to use this for kind of my crafty blog video life. And that really helped me kind of figure things out. So what I decided to do is instead of kind of fighting the background colors of the layouts, I was going to start color coding each month based on the colors in the planner. So for January, as you can see, there's a lot of kind of greens and oranges. So that's what I what I did. I picked some of my Copics that I thought matched, and I made this little card so I always knew what colors I used, taped it in with some washi tape, just on one side, so if I had anything to write under there, I could. And I made my labels, okay? I picked some of the icons from some of the Studio L2E stamps, and I assigned a meaning for them. So if I put um, this little paintbrush down here, that meant I was going to try an art journal and so on. And I attached it with a coil clip in the middle, as you can see right here. And then I used a paper clip and put all the labels that I had in there, or on the back of that card. And when I was using, when I was in the month of January, this card would actually be in each of the weeks, okay? So it would kind of follow along. And that's what I had planned for my um, kind of color coding. And then what I decided to use the month for was every time I did a blog post or every time I uploaded a video, I would put a um, coordinating label down so that I could kind of track and see how many videos and how many blogs I did. And I started doing this, you know, partway through the month so it's not completely filled out. So I decided to do that in about the middle of January. So here's kind of the first week where I have all of that done. And I also changed up all of my headings. So now I use the iconic list stamp set that has that really pretty um, script font in it. And I have to-do list, notes, and thoughts. So up here in the to-do list section would be anything that I wanted to get done as far as my blog, channel, or like a craft project goes. So I would make a plan, you know, when I was going to film a video, when I was going to do a blog post, that kind of thing, and list those up here. In the notes section, this would be where I might put something down that I want to remember to put in the video or want to remember to put in the blog post, that kind of thing. And then down here would just be some kind of random thoughts. Um, one of the things I finally realized is that I need to not compare myself to other people who use this planner because there's a lot of people out there that really, really decorate their planner. Um, they're really cute. I really like them. But to be honest, I almost felt like I was trying to compete with them and I just kind of had to let that go and remember that I want this planner to be functional. That's one of the reasons why I don't always have everything, you know, something in every box because I don't always need it and that's okay. So I kept doing this throughout the month and it worked out pretty well and I really liked it so I decided to keep going in February. So in February I have figured out what my colors are going to be and here they are. Those are the ones that I think match that background and you can see I have my labels figured out right here. This is the week that we're in and here are all my labels that I'm using set up in a similar way. I just colored them up with Copics, stamped on them, put them on a card so I had kind of like a little legend or something to uh, remind me what they all stood for, and then a coil clip right here so it's attached in, and then all the extras on the back with the paper clip so I can use them for the rest of the month. So there's a few things I want to mention um, in here. Once again, I still have those three sections, and I do want to say that for me, the planner is exactly that. It's a planner. So what that means for me is that I plan to do these things on these days. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Something comes up, life happens, I have a long day at work, I don't feel like filming a video, and it doesn't happen on the day it's scheduled. It's not a big deal as long as it gets done, you know, hopefully sometime in the week, and if it doesn't, I'll move it to the next week, okay? I don't beat myself up about that. So for example, right here is a little video camera icon. I was supposed to film this video on 
Monday. It's now Saturday and I just didn't get around to it because I just didn't feel like it. I had a crazy work week, a lot going on, and so I'm doing it now and that's okay. A um, couple other things to mention. I put all of my outstanding orders right here and the ones that don't come in by the end of the week then I will you know, flip to the next week and write them here. I know this looks like I have a lot but it's really just I wrote out quite a few things on here um, so the, the descriptions are a little bit longer. Um, one of the other things that I really like is this little stamp that I have down here, social media. That is from the Studio L2E Creative Team's exclusive set so that I can, um, I put these down here and if I post on Instagram I'm going to check it and then put a little note here of what I posted just to kind of track how often I'm doing that. and. Um, I actually have posted a few things on Instagram, I just haven't marked them down yet. I also have the two rulers. I put one in the current week and one in the monthly so I can get to those quickly. And I think that's pretty much everything about this planner. Um, I will say, I, I think this is going to work out for me doing it this way, but I'm still not 100% convinced this is a planner for me. At this point in time, I'm not 100% sure I'd use this next year. Um, I'm just going to kind of see how it works out as the year goes on. Also, I don't think we should be afraid to kind of make the planner work for us, like changing up the headings and that kind of stuff. I also know that there's a lot of people that will take these papers, these calendars, out of the spiral and put it in a file of facts. If that works for you, great. I know for me, if you guys are familiar, there's a paper little folder back here normally that had that perpetual calendar in it. I did not like that, so I ripped it out. I don't keep that. I do use this because it keeps some extra labels in here, so I have that. And as you can see with the color here, that's what this pen is all about. The color that I'm using for the month matches the layout. So it's all kind of color coordinated that way and it makes my OCD happy that way. Um, I do currently use that elastic band like I said, but I want to show you guys, let's do it this way. I've been putting some labels and stickers in there. So as I go, this is getting a little thick. Um, so I don't know that I'll be using that elastic band throughout the whole year, but for now I do. And I do really like it. I like holding all the pages closed together. A um, couple last minute things. I will put a link down below in the description for Studio L2E stamps and for the Erin Condren site. The Erin Condren link is a referral link, which means if you purchase something there, I think if you purchase a life planner there, I get like a $10 store credit. Please don't worry about that. Get a planner if you really like it. Um, I'm just putting it there so you can access the site. I, I could, I don't want this to sound bad, but I could care less if I get a $10 referral. I want you to get the planner that works for you. So if you really like this one, you really like the layout and you haven't gotten one, then feel free to use that referral link. And lastly, if you stuck with me throughout this whole video, I'm going to do a very um, quick impromptu giveaway. I have two of my favorite Studio L2E stamps here. It's the Iconic set and the Iconic Activities set, and I have a pack of my favorite little Avery um, labels that I use to make those little icon stamps. So I'm going to give this away randomly to one person. All you have to do to be entered in this giveaway is to leave, to be a follower on my video, Oh, sorry, on my channel, and to leave a comment down below. Just comment and tell me what um, kind of planner you use, whether it's paper or electronic. If you don't use one, that's totally fine too. Just tell me that. And that's all you need to do. And if I randomly select your name, I will um, announce it on my channel. Let's do it um, one week from today. So that would be, oh my gosh, I don't have it in front of me. Let's see. So we're on the 7th, so on Valentine's Day, I will announce a winner and some lucky person will get these two stamp sets and these labels. I will leave this open for everybody, so if you're um, not in the U.S., that's totally fine. You can still um, have the opportunity to win this. Um, if you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on something, questions down below. Um, and I think that's everything, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching the video, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.